Hey, hey, hey guys, it's good to see you all back here on this YouTube channel. What's today? Wednesday? Now it's Thursday. Happy Thursday. And it's very good to see you all back here. So in today's, today's video, we'll, we, we will do some Ethereum mining. Uh, we will configure the 4 gigabyte cards. And you know, everybody who has 4 gigabyte cards and they are not working, press the like button now if you want to get them uh, working uh, back again for mining Ethereum, at least for months or so. Um, till the DAG file again reaches and your cards are not useful anymore for mining Ethereum. So yeah, let's go in straight into the video. So yeah, Ethereum mining is very interesting. It has this, you know, um, DAG file, which is basically a, a file size, which is loaded on the graphics card's memory when you are mining um, uh, Ethereum. So at, currently it is at this video, um, you know, what, what's the 20th of August, uh, the DAG file size is 3.78 um, gigabytes. And it will reach 4 gigabytes at the uh, around December 2020. Uh, but mining could stop potentially uh, faster uh, for for that because the software won't support. So I'm gonna go into the details. You know, if uh, your miner has already stopped mining, if you can't start your mining with the 4 gigabyte cards, I know many guys uh, have this issue. They um i've contacted me contacted me you know they had you know similar issues and i i understood that i i did understood that it is the uh dog file size you know and uh, most of you for who 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 was using like software like ethos and claymore miner you know after epoch uh 350 which is basically how the dog file size increases uh which uh, the dog style file size increases every 30,000 blocks so every uh, epoch is a new uh, DAG file size increase and uh, yeah around the Claymore Miner ETOS it stopped working around I think 350 epoch which was a few we weeks ago maybe uh, maybe more than months even now um, so yeah but there's a way you can you know fix this you know of course scrap the ETOS which is basically dead mining software where there's zero development i stopped i was using you know it was my favorite uh, software before well i stopped using it as soon as you know they they introduced like one time uh, one time fee for the software and not a monthly charge like hive os has you know because you know it's impossible to do a development on the software if you know there there is no new customers but if there are customers who's paying every month for the software um, you, you know, the, the software developers can, you know, add new things, you know, develop all the time. So this was the main reason why I stopped using Eidos and, you know, I have been right, you know, it's basically dead software. Um, so yeah. So the things, you know, many people have stopped mining already. And so, so the things you need to do, uh, there's, you know, a few steps you need to take. Uh, so basically install the latest stable Hive OS, uh, version. So you can download that, you know. Hive OS install. So you can dial. I I will leave the links in the description. I have also a video installation. So if you haven't used the Hive OS, how to create the Hive OS flasher, you can just you know download the latest stable uh, Hive OS uh, version. And you know, upload that on your rig. You can also upgrade if you have a Hive OS. Uh, you you did install it long time ago, and you want to put a new image. Now you can you know easily um, install different image 
uh, through logging into the miner, you know, and typing a few commands. So basically, this is the website you download. You know, download uh, download high voice versions. Um, So yeah, download the latest stable, uh, which is uh, 06.146. Uh, and um, yeah, and then it's all this version. Then the next, th next step is um, you need to use a miner, something like Team Red Miner, something like Eat Miner, something like Phoenix Miner. You know, Claymore Miner has issues with the four gigabyte cars, you know, their development also lately is not as fast as it used to be you know in 2016 2017 um, so yeah they basically need to update their miners and also if you do have a cpu integrated graphics you know um, use your to save up some memory use that you know if you are using image uh, from your rig you know if you're using monitor uh, plug that monitor you know uh, do by a setting that your image comes from the motherboard integrated you know graphics so that way you save some uh, memory which is not used on a graphics card. If you are using image from the graphics cards, this will also use more memory from the graphics cards. And this graphics card might stop mining, you know, faster than than different cards. Or you can simply, you know, maybe where's the image. You can also install, you know, if you have a spare 8 GB card, you can install that there. And that will fix also this issue. Um, another thing is that... Another thing is that uh, if these things these things doesn't work, uh, what I just told you um, at the overclock overclock settings at your rig, you know there's this uh, uh, ref setting uh, which I have 30 here. Uh, you can delete that uh, setting, and uh, you know this might fix also this issue um, to allow your 4 gigabyte cards uh, mining. Well. Yeah, four gigabyte cards. You know they are um, the the DAG file size growth has eliminated three gigabyte cards from mining. Has eliminated four gigabyte cards from mining. Oh no, sorry, will soon eliminate four gigabyte cards from mining. And what that, that does that mean? You know there is a, that means that there's a lot of four gigabyte cards on. Uh, Ethereum network mining currently and how do I know that I can just simply go to, into the uh, high OS statistics panel uh, and you know Ethereum mining AMD cards are the most efficient um, in price per hash uh, than Nvidia cards and uh, high OS currently you know there is roughly 50% 4 gigabyte cards from AMD um, using high OS it doesn't mean that all of the cards are mining Ethereum but still, uh, most likely they are because Ethereum is the most profitable uh, for these graphics cards. So you can see uh, RX 570, 23%. RX 470, 4 GB, 14%. Um, RX 580, 4 GB, 12%. RX 480, 4 GB, 2%. So that average somewhere 50% of the graphics cards are 4 GB. And Think about that, you know, the whole network has, uh, you know, drops, let's say for at least 20%, you know, your, your mining profits will increase for 20%. At least it will be for a couple of weeks, you know, till the network effect will even out, you know, some people from other coins will seem more profitable uh, with a higher uh, memory size graphics cards and will join this uh, Ethereum and mine uh, Ethereum. By the way, Ethereum Classic will be stopped mineable a lot faster than Ethereum uh, with the 4 gigabyte cards because the Epoch is a little bit faster than on Ethereum. And there is this uh, website, Dark Size Calculator, which says currently, you know, uh, that we are at the um, dark, uh, the Epoch 356 on Ethereum and the Epoch 367 on uh, Ethereum Classic. Um, but the funny thing is that, uh, uh, for example, Phoenix Miner, uh, you will be able to mine uh, till around 337, 3, 373 Epoch, which is uh, roughly um, end of October uh, for Ethereum and mid-September 
uh, for for Ethereum Classic. I think Ethereum Classic might, might be again in the trouble and get some 51% attack as soon as these cards uh, stop mining Ethereum Classic and somebody uh, uses it in all, all in his own advantage. Um, so yeah, at least up till now uh, we can mine till 373 uh, epoch. So it's tested. And also you can do this on, uh, on try to do this on Windows and other systems. Uh, but you need to have a driver version anywhere from 18.12.1.1 to 19.7.5 uh, AMD drivers. Otherwise you might have issues like, uh, you know, if you're using 18.1.1 to 18.10.1 drivers, you can only mine till Epoch 350, which has already passed. Um, so yeah. Otherwise, otherwise, if you have a like six six gigabyte card or eight gigabyte card, there there's still a, a very long time for you left uh, in mining. You know, uh, you know, for six gigabyte card, roughly, let's take block size uh, four. Yeah, for six gigabyte card, roughly till. Uh, March 2024, which is still very long way to go four years and hopefully Ethereum uh, Till that time will be already a proof-of-stake coin <laughs> um, So yeah, that's that um, This should fix the issue if you are having with the fork by cars You know that you will be possible to mine Ethereum with fork by cars at least uh, Till end of October with these kind of settings um, Ethereum Classic till uh, mid-September and that's basically it um, there, there might be some more software updates some some tweaks which will um, extend a little bit more of the uh, RAM size on the card usage RAM usage of the RAM size of the card uh, which will potentially allow to mine Ethereum a little bit longer with the 4 gigabyte cards um, I hope this video was helpful, hit the thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so yet to not miss the next video, otherwise mine hardcore or don't mine at all. Goodbye, goodbye guys, goodbye.